Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in today's video, I'll be discussing about how to configure Oracle GL account monitor and what are the steps which are required to configure this uh, GL account monitor. So to give you a little bit background uh, of the business reason why we configure GL account monitor. So basically a business might have a requirement to monitor say, uh, say a sales account under all companies, under all call centers, or monitor a specific uh, uh, set of accounts on a daily basis. So they can just go to the dashboard and the dashboard can automatically get refreshed whenever there is a, a, any new journals uh, which gets posted to those uh, accounts. Now let's see how we can set up the GL account monitor. Okay, uh, let me now get into the Fusion environment. So this is the one, how to configure jail account monitor. So navigate to general accounting, general accounting dashboard. So once you click on here, you can see the account monitor. So click on uh, account group. The first step uh, in the account monitor is to create a group or the account group. So within this account group, you specify what are all the account combinations which you want to monitor. So probably I just want to monitor maybe my say salary account. So I'll just say Reliance UST Ledger salaries account. Reliance UST Ledger salaries account. So uh, as I logged into this environment using a phase zero six dot student, so it, this is what is the owner and within the display in you have a couple of options here account monitor allocations close monitor expenses revenue and all these are kind of a different infolets even when you are creating infolets there is a requirement to create a group so you again use the same screen to create the, the account group for those infolets now in our current case we just want to create this group for account group from a account monitor uh, gl account monitor perspective so let me leave the display in as account monitor set as default so i just want this particular new account group whatever i'm going to create as my default uh, account group so you can create multiple account groups and you can monitor all those account groups in the account monitor and uh, generally uh, you check this particular checkbox dynamically derive ledger especially whenever you are creating any account groups specifically to be shown under any of these uh, infolets but for a uh, account group to be used in account monitor you can just leave it blank <coughs> time period so when you uh, once you create the account group go to the account manager what exactly is the option based on which you want to see the balances whether it's based on accounting period or whether you want to see the data by quarter or by year and also comparison you can choose whether you want to see the data for uh, pre year year pdd pre year, year qtd ytd pre year period and so on right so let me just say pre year period uh, ptd right so access is private public shared so i go with private so if it's private so only i can access this uh, account group in my account monitor and if it is a public everybody in the environment can have access to this account group and if the shared i can specify the people or the users to which this account group can be accessed okay now let me click on plus so again give a name so my i just want to give a name as uh, reliance usd salaries account and our ledger so this drop down should show all the ledgers for which i have access so uh, in this environment i have access only to this particular ledger so that's the ledger and company i have a choice uh, i can select a specific company or i can just say all company values similarly cost centers all cost centers intercompany all intercompany and as far as account is concerned i just want to use my salary account so it starts with the five research oops yeah this is the one sales salaries that's the account so let me now save this save and close okay 
Now here you can see the account within the account monitor as we have set this particular account group as the default one. It is defaulting here. So now let me change the period. I don't think so there is any data in this environment for Jan, but definitely there is some data in June. Let me search for see, yeah, June. When I say June, here you can see for June, I have some data. And uh, uh, you can see here, I've selected uh, the comparison as uh, pre-year period. Oh. It is showing in May period, there is no data. But in June period, there is some data. So let me go for, say, July. See, in July, there is no data. In June, there is some data. So if I go to July, click on hyperlink. Oh, it looks like even in July, there is some data. OK, there is no period activity. Sorry, yeah. So there is a beginning balance, but there is no period activity. So if you click on this, see, you can not see any data because there is no journals. So let me go to, say, June. Here you can see 25,500 is the period active. When I click on the hyperlink, it goes to the lowest level. So again, from balance, it goes to the journals. And from journals, you can click on any of the journal. It goes to the lowest level, which is the journal line. So this is what is the lowest level. Here, here you can see this is the account which is being used. So cancel this. Cancel this. And here again, you can play around. So basically, if you observe here, you can see the data only in the ledger currency or in the stat currency. If I say stat, obviously there is no data for the stat and hence it shows, it shows zero. And for ledger currency, there is some data and it shows that and you can see here the change for uh, uh, the change between zero minus 25,500 is minus 25,500. So there is a uh, minus 100% change. So you can just monitor here on a daily basis and once you click on just a refresh button, it's going to uh, extract the latest balance from the GL balances queue. So similarly, I can see here in this environment, there are others who have created uh, <coughs> other, uh, what do you call, uh, account groups, which I can still use those account groups because when these account groups were created, looks like they would have set it as the access as public. So if I go on this, click on manage, here I'll be able to see all the account groups which are created. You can see here account group is public, public, public. These are the three which already exist in this environment. So somebody has created and he, this is the one which I have created and this is private. So that means nobody else can, uh, what do you call, access this particular account group or use this account group in their info lets or in your uh, account monitor. So in a real world, you generally, uh, if you look at this existing one, expenses, here you can see, there are different expenses which are uh, created, right? And as I mentioned here, you have an option whether you want to see always display or whether you want to show this particular record only when, when, when say, let's example, it decreases by say a certain amount compared to a pre-year year YTD and so on. So you have all these options. In most of the case, generally whatever I've seen is basically we go with always display, okay? So that's how you create uh, your uh, account group and then use them in account monitor. So thank you. Thanks for watching my video for interesting videos on Oracle Fusion Financials. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.